Going to work on Nauru um, in the detention centre, I was ethically challenged. I knew it was going to be hell. However, first stepping foot and going to the RPC3, I was struck at how much worse it really was. Everything seemed designed to take away the dignity of any person. And it's so hard to describe the hell that that place was. I was often in disbelief. But I can't forget the incredible people in prison there, considering all that they had been through. Their resilience and compassion for each other was beyond any that I had ever known. So my first point is about the treatment of pregnant women. Forced to endure intolerable living environments, hot mouldy tents, deprivation of much needed nourishment and lack of food when needed, toilets located far away from their tents, hot, stony, uneven grounds where women told of falling down due to the uneven surface or scared to go to the toilet at night due to the distance and outside threats. Then there was the time when women had to wait to receive appropriate mental and physical health care. A woman once pleading to see someone for medication as she was unable to sleep, parent her other children and describe severe anxiety and depressive symptoms. The accounts of sexual assaults, harassments at the schools of female students with no real investigations completed. This causing girls and some boys to disengage entirely with education or attend school with feelings of such anxiety, obviously not conducive to learning. The effect on mothers who describe themselves as, amongst everything else, as being powerless, as they not being able to protect their girls from sexual harassment and dangers present in the detention centre and in the community. This when they thought that by fleeing they were in fact doing that, protecting their children.